Hello everybody and welcome! Today we're playing Prison Architect. Uh, it's a little break from Skyrim because I recorded like an hour and a half of footage this morning and on the recommendation of several people I tried to separate out the uh, the game audio from my audio and it ended up fucking me out of an hour of recording. So, uh, I'm going to have to go back and play an hour and a half worth of game again. It's a little irritating. Um, so instead I'm going to play Prison Architect. Um, there's still probably going to be some Skyrim left in in the uh, well in the barrel, just because that's uh, that's how f I, I mean I record well in advance. So, um, but <clears throat> anyway, let's let's get on to it. We're going to play Prison Architect. I haven't played this since they added like this stuff here. So like I'm gonna we're gonna do the campaign, and it's uh, we're we have to. I mean, it's just. We have to get a big enough prison that we build ourselves a death row. So, that's what we're going to do. Let's get to it. Ooh, there's an intro and everything now. Ah, fancy ass shower. There's like cutscenes and shit. This is weird. So, build, build some cells, do some stuff, <coughs> have some parties. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chief's office, warden's office, foreman, yeah, okay. Garbage truck for shit. Priest. Talking to this guy, probably, because I'm assuming this guy's the one on death row. Prison architect. Ah. Wait, so I, do, I, do I start off with a prison? Oop. <clears throat> this is a tough one. There's a prisoner incarcerated at this facility who's been convicted of a double murder and sentenced to death. That's where we come in. We've been contracted to construct an execution chamber in time for the guy's big day. Okay, so I guess I start off with a prison. This is where I want the new facility to be built. The first step with any project like this is to construct a building itself with enough space inside to fit an execution room and a holding cell. So let's get started. Construct a new building here. We'll also need an entrance to the new execution facility. Build a large jail door into the south wall. Okay. That's... I guess I'm just gonna... Foundation. Concrete. Just, you know, why not? Put a big-ass door right there. Your workmen are responsible for the construction of buildings. They'll collect the steel and concrete from the star room and take it to the construction site, see? They'll use those raw materials to build the foundation and framework of your new building. This is the slowest part of construction, so you should plan ahead when building new facilities. While we wait, let's take a look around. Use WAST or the arrow keys to move around, and use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Okay, so we're looking around. There's some stuff. Some things. There's some things and stuff. And power station. Here's the shower. Who is it? This motherfucker right here. He's the one on death row, isn't he? Yeah. We got we got Priesty McPriest face here. But that door is staying locked. It's staying unlocked. Bam. Facility built. Inside the building, I want to sell an execution room. Partition the space by construction some brick walls. Do that have to be brick? Can I not use concrete? Let's see if concrete works. Kind of hoping concrete works because I really don't want to have to like tear those down and build them back up. Also, because then it won't match because this whole thing is concrete. You know, we're just gonna lock that open. 
Just for the sake of saving time. Although, I'm not sure how these guys are opening jail doors. They're... Don't they need the, the, the guards to do that for them? Hey, I think it does count. Ha ha ha! Suck it! I'll build however I want. Here's a staff key. How did he open the door? I like how it's a big pile of bricks for this, you know, concrete wall. Bam! Now add large jail doors to those dividing walls. You can rotate an object before placing it by clicking the middle mouse button or pressing R. Is this just a tutorial? Is that what's going on here? Did we just spend all this damn... Are we about to spend all this time on a tutorial? Hmm. If this does end up being a tutorial, then, um... Well. Then I'll probably continue playing this and play like an actual from-the-ground-up build of a prison. And we'll see how that goes. Um... I, I really... So I did I did female prison once, and my god, that was just a complicated pain in the ass. So I'll probably do a male prison, just because... It's so much less pain in the ass. Also, let's, let's let's move it along, shall we? God damn. Don't have all day here. Alright, CEO. That's looking good. We now need to designate rooms within those spaces. Designate a cell in a smaller area where a condemned inmate will live. Then designate the execution room itself in the larger area. I need to plop down the cell here. And... You know what, I already know what he's going to have me do, so while he's yakking away, we're just going to you know, put a damn bed in there. And then we're going to, let's see, a bed and a toilet, right? That's what we need. What, just give me the big list, damn it. Ooh. Maybe an arcade cabinet, too. Where the hell's the toilet? There it is. You know what, just, just, for, just for shits and giggles. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's gonna get an arcade cabinet. The execution room gets an arcade cabinet. Um. Oh, god damn it! Once again, move your asses here, people. Um. Okay, so then I guess this is execution room. I can't believe they put in the that they put in the arcade cabinet before they put a toilet in. Those new rooms have requirements before that can become functional. Cell needs a bed and a toilet. Execution room requires the electric chair. Meh. Um, we probably also need pipes, don't we? No, electric chair, let's just pop that right down there. We need pipes. We need pipes. Where can I... You to... Apparently I can't put in pipes. So this guy's just gonna shit in a hole in the floor that doesn't actually go anywhere. I feel like that's not, like, the best way to do this. Oh, what do I know? Should I just, like, start putting these down everywhere? I mean, I'm not paying for it. Oh, I've only got... Well, I got $610,000. Let's put, like, a bunch of those in there. Like, people can get can get executed, like, all in a big group. It'll be great. Come on, people. Build my execution chambers, damn it. <laughs> oh, you're fucking kidding me. I have to build a toilet in that space? Ah, lame. <laughs> With the three electric chairs is pretty damn funny. Ah. That's the essential. That's the essential taken care of. But there's still a few improvements you can make. It's up to you, though. They aren't strictly required. Depends a lot on how much you care about your prisoners and their environment. The cell itself could be improved with an outward-facing window and a small bookshelf. Dude's got an arcade cabinet. I think he'll be fine. And the facility would look better with high-quality floor material, like wooden floorboards or mosaic tiles. Outside, you could add some lighting and a paved pathway if you think it needs it. <coughs> oh, gross. It's just the man in question, Edward Rumsey, a teacher once, would you believe? It's not our place to decide if he deserves this. The law has made the, that decision. We're just here to do a job. 
Once you are satisfied with the facility is ready, you can begin the prisoner transfer to his new cell. Simply click on the Polaroid in his cell to initiate transfer. <laughs> let's make it pretty. Let's let's do a little bit here. Let's let's make some nice uh, nice little nice little path. So we go right here to storage room, and, and then right here all the way over. That's the that's a little irritating. Um, what kind of floor do we want? You know, let's get some fancy ass tiles in here in this little reception area kind of thing, and then like. Like nice, nice little home-like wooden floor. Um, in here, though, we want like we want something, something good. Uh, marble tiles, because you know, dude's gonna shit himself in the chair, so we want something easy to clean up in here. Marble tile seems like it's probably pretty easy to clean up. And then, let's see here. Let's, uh, yeah, let's get some lights going on here. And boop. And then, boop. And like, one at that corner. One right here. One at that corner. Get some pretty lights. Oh, what the hell. We'll put, a, we'll, we'll put a bookshelf next to his second toilet. And a nice, uh... I don't know which... Like, does that count as the window there? Like, that's his window? I guess. Whatever. Or does it have to be... Well, shit, now I don't... Are there any cells that face that way that have windows? No, they all face up and down. Motherfucker! Okay, 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 wait. Wait, no. Because that... Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe maybe which side of the wall it's on doesn't, doesn't really matter that much. Alright. I think this guy's ready to die. I'm ready to kill him anyway. Ooh, the chief. I gotta... F mm. Dead man walking! Dun -dun. Don't shed one tear for this guy. He's a stone-killed killer. Guilty as charged. He even confessed. Want to hear his description of what he did? It's juicy stuff. It was around 11 p.m. The lights were already on. I knew she was home. He's wearing his prison jumpsuit still. He knew he was going to prison, so he put on a jumpsuit. All the doors are open. Except some of them are open in a different way. She's blowing a guy. Oh, no, apparently she's just right there. Well, alright then. Well, that's just barely covering herself, isn't it? I knew I'd get you two here. Edward, hi! Don't just don't. What are you gonna do? Bang, bang! Man, this is why I don't fuck around on people. Not that she deserved it. Not not saying she deserved to die, but you know. Also, y you you don't like marry a fucking crazy guy either. It's probably uh, for the best. There is day if you ask me. Deserve every vault he's gonna get. All men deserve forgiveness. Even him. I am so sure in yourself that you can deal out such final judgment. Catching your wife with another man is no excuse for what he did. And he went there with a loaded gun knowing he'd find them together. That's double premeditated moida. He's done nothing but cooperate with the authorities. This state is making an example of him, just because he likes to drink Baileys from a shoe. If he'd committed his crime a hundred miles north, he'd be looking at life imprisonment instead. How is that justice? Do you want a guy like this running free? 
I'll sleep just fine at night and when I know he's gone. I don't know why the, the police chief sounds like Yogi Bear. Or, you know, the priest sounds like old Greg. Good work so far! However, there is one problem. The execution room isn't functional yet because it doesn't have any power. We need to connect it to the electrical supply. Doesn't have any toilet either. We are now viewing the prison in utility mode, which shows us the electrical wiring layout for the entire prison. Each building in the prison is connected to the power grid by these thick underground electric cables. Power is provided to the prison by the substation, which draws electricity from the national grid. National grid? What? <coughs> As you can see, the entire wing of the prison cell is without power. All the lights are out. To fix this problem, we first need to switch into utility mode to understand why the lights are without power. It's because they didn't connect this shit. The nearest electrical cables are too far away. Our engineers can't complete the wiring for this area. Extend the electrical cables nearby to cover this wing of the prison. While we're at it, we're just gonna boop, and then boop, and then boop. What the fuck? Oh shit, somebody died today. Who died? How could... What the fuck? Oh, that guy's dead? What? Huh. Well, alright then. I guess that guy's dead. Come on! Move your asses! <coughs> Light shot the only thing that needs power. Your new electric chair does too. Use the power cables to connect the execution facility to the power grid. We did that already. The electrical self chair itself is a special type of electrical item. It requires its own dedicated power line. We need to connect it up directly with mains cable. I did that. We're almost done, I think. We should test the new execution room at least once before we try to use it, though. I'm just going to turn it on for a few seconds. Make sure everything is okay. Oh shit, you overloaded it. Well, that didn't look work. Looks like we drew too much power and tripped the circuit breaker. The whole prison is dark. We're gonna need more juice to be able to handle the power spike that electric chair generates. First, we need to turn the power back on. It's a two-step process. One, switch the power back on by clicking it and selecting switch on. Then build three more capacitors so we have enough power capacity to handle the electric chair. Once you've done that, just test the chair again by clicking on it. Selecting the slow. Okay, turn the fucking power on. So we have power in the prison again. And capacitor banks. What? Why would it let me put them there? Come on, let me put more capacitor down, damn it! Ah. Alright, alright, hurry up. Wait a second. Can I add. I just can I just put that on its own little uh Aha. <laughs> um <clears throat> So if I do that <laughs> I'm trying to trick the game into uh, letting me do this. I 
just need to delete this. Okay, so if I get rid of those, right, then in theory... Alright, so the... Now I just need these guys to finish building the power station, which should only be power. <laughs> Alright. Now... Everything's set up. This has plenty of power. And this is on its own power grid with a metric ass load of capacitors. So, let's uh, switch the sucker on. Well done. I believe we have finished with this job. What happens now is out of our hands. We did a professional job and that's what's important in our business. Try not to worry about what happens next. <laughs> I can't believe they made a little Jesus and put him on a cross here. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Ah, he's coming in to confess his sins, still wearing his prison jumpsuit. Can I help you? Ugh. Are you looking for forgiveness, son? I don't know. I, I have to do something. I can't live with the things I've done. You have to turn yourself in, boy. Whatever you've done, you cannot evade the consequences. You will never be able to live with yourself until you face up to your past. I want to go back. I want to forgive her. Forgive me. God will forgive you, no matter what you have done, if you ask him to. But you must answer for your crimes in the eyes of the law. There is no other way. Come on, Greg! It is time, Edward. You have done the right thing, even though this world will not forgive you for it. You will be with God soon, and he will have final judgment on you. The seriousness of this moment is a little bit undercut by the uh, arcade cabinet noises in his cell. Alright, now there's a fucking power supply with, like, like, n uh, yeah, nine capacitors running just the chairs. I think this should do alright. switch. Edward Ramsey, you have been found guilty of two counts of murder in the first degree. The penalty is death. Do you have anything to say? Susan, I'm sorry. Fun fact, in most uh, places in the United States, if you survive the execution, you get pardoned.